Many North Texas school districts are finalizing their plans for the once in a lifetime opportunity to help students experience a total solar eclipse here. While some rural school districts under the center path of totality decided to close their doors, the majority of larger school districts we reached out to say they're going to stay open. Fox News' Lori Brown live in Richardson. Hi, Lori. Hi, Clarice. Both Denton and Wiley ISD said that they are planning to stay open for now, but they are ready to pivot. Denton ISD is just outside the path of totality. And districts have split decisions on issues like whether or not parents can sign in as visitors and if a parent wants to take their child out to view the eclipse as a family, will that absence be excused? So does anybody here know anything about the solar eclipse? Yeah. Yeah. School districts are working feverishly to capitalize on a teaching moment they will never have in North Texas again. I think the moon kind of goes over the sun. Dallas ISD, like 18 other large North Texas school districts, is planning to be open for the April 8th total eclipse of the sun and is providing students essential glasses donated by the Perot Museum. Eighth graders from Jesus Morola's Expressive Arts Vanguard have been giving lessons about the eclipse to younger students. The last total solar eclipse in Dallas was in 1878. And the next in Dallas will be in the year 2317. For about four minutes, it looked like the sun's just black and glowing white. And that glowing white's actually the sun's atmosphere. It'll be something that the children will remember um, as they get older, because um, their children won't won't see a total eclipse here in Dallas. We took a sampling of districts, large and small, to see how they are approaching this. Some, like NSISD, in the center path of totality will be closed for community-wide events. For many others, the details vary. For example, whether or not parents can sign in as visitors or volunteer that day to experience the eclipse with their child. At this time, eight districts told us parents may be allowed to sign in as visitors or volunteers at some campuses. Five said parents would not be allowed at all. As for families who want to take their child to a viewing event to watch the eclipse, five districts said the absence could be excused with a letter. Seven said it would not be excused, and four districts provided an unclear response, perhaps still weighing the options. Evan Whitfield is the director of science at Capel ISD. He has been planning for the eclipse since last September. In my opinion, it, it, it's a must-see. We have to move mountains to make this a learning opportunity for every kid. Capel ISD plans to have their pre-K students watch a live stream of the eclipse inside. We've got the option for those folks, those educators with those kids to live stream in class. They also can look at it from inside um, and they can take small uh, chunks of kids and do it slowly and rotate them through with the proper safety glasses. They Prosper ISD plans to keep kinder and first graders inside as well, and Grand Prairie is limiting outside viewing to third grade and up. Most districts told us for parents who don't want their child to watch outside, they will provide a live stream they can watch inside. If we can attach a concrete and a memorable experience to something, we can get our kids to learn anything. We put a link to all of the district responses we've received at our website at fox4news.com. Dallas ISD says 14 schools will have solar telescopes in the Junior League of Dallas to be able to track the phenomenon.